Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode. This is episode 3 of Custom Robo. Uh, in the last episode, we were given the task to find Harry, who is no longer here where he has been the entire time. Uh, so let's go looking for him. Make sure he's not around the edges. We got a bunch of people, I could talk to them, but they're just, you know, people. What's this girl? Oh, you're so cool. And that watch of yours is so hip, so chic, so chic. I mean, the watch has got to be out of style by now. How long ago did I get it? Say, can I have your watch? Whoa, well, hold on a sec. I can't give it away. Besides, I don't even know you. Yeah, so? What's your point? I don't know you either. Oh, you're a bitch. Oh! There's the red arrow, telling me I'm no, I'm not where I want to be. Where do I, where's Harry? Yeah, so that's the cockroach pod. One of the computers was using that. By the way, speaking of the uh, fire in the pods, I do believe I have fixed the issue. I uh, my left trigger on my controller was going bad, so it was constantly fluttering, uh, basically. So, I've swapped it out with a new controller, and we are ready to keep going. Come on! What's your phone number? Ha ha ha! You want, you, you want my number? Aw, quit fooling around! How about a date? Come on! Hmm? What is it, dung pool? Ernest wants me to call him back! Aw man, I was totally gonna get her number! Does, doesn't really look like it. I got him on speed dial. Yeah, Harry here. What's up? Kind of busy right now. Triangle star circle T pitchfork star X triangle circle exclamation point. Well, uh, quadruple division sign upside down triangle pitchfork equals double dot double circle concentric circles upside down triangle uh, zero divided by double zero. D do you do you have to use coding language like that, Chief? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got I got it. God damn. Hey, Dungpool, we've got work. See ya, Sophie. Let's go on a date next time. Uh, uh, you, you, you gotta go? What a shame. What a shame. Good luck with work, Harry. Woohoo! You better believe I'll be back. Okay, Dungpool, let's go. I'm pumped up. Like my penis. Pumped up with blood or something. We're headed to for Hub Park. Hub Park? Yeah, you know, the park with the roads circling around it. Oh, you're talking about the one that's just to the right of the screen. The chief said something about a couple young punks duking it out with the robos. Guess some girl called us up, asked us to make them stop. Hmm? Sounds messy. We, uh, we, we should probably get going. You're right. Come on. Let's go. Oh, we're running. That's a nice feature. Not that the map's huge and takes time to get across. There they are. Wonder what they're fighting about. Hmm. Let me take a guess. I see purple hair man. I see red hair man. And I see one chick. Now, we're, we're, past, the, we're past the part that I remember explicitly. Like, I remember that opening, those opening scenes rather well. But we're, we're past the point that I remember exactly. So this isn't... I'm not calling back game memory. But uh, if, I was, if I was called to a scene where two guys were fighting and there was only one other chick in the vicinity, I think we can assume that obviously they both owe her rent and uh, they're fighting out to see who's going to pay it. I mean, duh, right? I mean, it's, it's, a, it's an abandoned park. It's probably late at night. Um, even though the, the sky... Which, which, which isn't the sky, really. Uh, is bright outside. It's probably a dark, lonely park. Anyway, there they are. Oh, wonder what they're fighting about. Oh, oh, am I, oh, I'm moving. What do you want? She's, she's my date. No, -uh, she's mine. Oh, I was totally wrong. Totally wrong. Oh. Hey, where do you think you're going? I don't like the look of it either, but we've got... You don't like the look? It's two guys, dude. 
And you're with me! I took down an entire bandit squad. What's this chick want? Oh, we're gonna we're gonna reposition. I'm the one that called you. These silly boys are fighting over me because I'm so cute. You're pretty cute. Well, I mean, I guess I did tell them I'd go out with them on the same day. And time. I'm not too bright. But I didn't know which one to cancel. So I thought I'd just come out and see what happened. And while I was waiting, they saw each other and they started fighting over me. You use a lot of pink hearts. Well, what did you expect? So anyways, I'm like freaked out over here. I called the police, but they said they don't have enough men to, to break up two guys. They don't have a, a single spare. Or like a high rent a cop. I think you've got more than enough men already. But I'm not worried about it now that you're here. I'm so... I'm gonna go home, okay? I'll leave the rest up to you. I don't really want to date with either of them. I just told them because I wasn't being mean. Yeah, quite the hip sway. Hey, hey, she left. But what about her dates? They're so mad at one another they haven't even noticed that she dumped them. Oh, well. Let's face them one-on-one. -on -one. Try to chill them out a little. Dung pool. Pick a guy. I'll handle the other. I want shorty hair. I want short hair. Long hair guy just seems like way too much for me. Oh. Oh. And I suppose you've got a date with her too? Okay, I'll straighten you out. Now, I'm gonna get kind of specific here on combat techniques. You know, now that we've already interrupted their battle and stopped tiring them out. The longer you hold the A button, the higher you jump. Tap the A button to do a short jump. You should try it out. Got it? Got it. Just do whatever you can do to beat them. Oh, he's got the criminal. Oh, he's got the criminal. I wonder what that says about his personality. Uh, I'm gonna try the cockroach pods. HMG. Don't know what the HMG stands for. Him oh, again. I'm gonna try it out. Still don't have any new shoes. Got no new kicks, man. No new kicks. Three way in the rail one. Cool. Let's start the battle. Oh, we're fighting in the park. And sex, of course. Tapping all the buttons, tapping all the buttons, and shoot him! Oh, of course I missed. Still hit him. Oh, this is nice. I can actually use... Oh, he got me. Oh, got him. Hit him, hit him, hit him. What are you using? Are you using the Gatling gun too? I hope I get the Gatling gun soon. That's a, that's a good early game weapon. Oh, oh I'm down. Oh, that wasn't the X button. Hey, there we go. Oh, he hit me. Oh, he hit me. I'm down. Oh, no. I got 655. He's got 6D. 6D cell batteries. Hey, hey there he goes. Cross the map. Look at that majestic win up on top of the scenery. You now have access to the reflection pod. Go visit a parts generator. You now have access to the long thrust legs. The really long thrust. Oh, pivoted on my axis. My center of gravity. Good grief. Let's get out of here.
Oh, I gotta choose a good voice because she's a main character. Harry! Behind. Harry! Behind you! Why is it just hit? What? High five, dude! You, you, you'll pay for this! In a synchronized, synchronized motion. You have a really see through shirt. Skirt. Don't mention it! My see through, don't mention my see through skirt! Oh, you must be Dungpool, our new partner, right? I'm Marcia. I think this is the lab chick's voice. So it's gonna get confusing if they're ever talking together. Y yes, that, that's me. I, I just started. Today's my first day. Oh, um, well, I've got a Class B license. Dun Dungpool. Say, Dungpool, what's your license class? Was that? Who knows? What? Y you don't have a license. He's an amateur. Of course he ain't got no license. But if you're a bounty hunter, and you don't have a license, you can get arrested! Oh! That's right, I, for I forgot. Damn it. Harry, how could you forget something like that? You know, that's why nobody's got any respect for us stale horses. Forgetting stuff like that. Oh, give me a break. It just slipped my mind. Well, okay, we've got a problem. Let's head back to the office. Alright, let's go. Going back to the office. Back to... Nope, not bogeys. Nope, not town... Town center? I think that's town center. Nope, not going to the training gym. Nope, not to the lab. A license? Oh, yeah, that. I guess that's not such a bad idea. But licenses cost money. Money we don't have. Yeah, but no matter how good you are, if you don't have a license, they'll arrest you. Well, that's your own business. It's not my fault if you guys get taken in by the cops. I could have sworn that by law pla that the law places full responsibility of the employer of the Robo Commander. Why, seriously? I got a tear coming out of my right eye. Mm, Alright then. Harry, I want you to take him to get his license tomorrow. What? Me again? Well, okay. He shouldn't have a problem getting a Class D license. <laughs> Sounds like a hassle. Hassle or not. You're getting that license or I'm busted. You better get one. Got it. Oops, sorry, the last one I failed. Anyway, you take that li Class D license test tomorrow. If you don't pass, Linda's reward is out the window. That's not to mention that I'll get arrested. Listen, Harry, you've absolutely got to make sure he passes. That's impossible! What do you want a simple assistant like me to do? Stop complaining. I don't want you to come back until Dungpool passes. Which reminds me, you're a Class D too. Why don't you take the Class C while you're there? No way! Who do you think you're kidding? As long as I'm in this business, Class D license plenty. Hey! Isn't it about time you took the Class A test? How many times have you tried? Class A expenses are too high, and with my salary, I can't afford it. <laughs> uh, this isn't good. Hmm. Everyone's worked hard today. You can all go home. <laughs> you should go home too. Just come straight to the test hall. The place is called the Custom Robo Department of Licensing. Dungpool, don't let anyone make fun of you for being a stale horse. Yeah, I won't. Uh, by the way, are you feeling okay? Me? No. Goodbye. What? Dungpool. 
Make sure you come straight to the testing hall tomorrow. It's right next to the training gym. Okay, we're done for the day. What are you doing after this? I'm gonna go home. Yeah, don't be late tomorrow. See ya. Oh, I don't even have to walk home. See, I like that option. Dong pool, wake up. Don't you have that lying test today? You better get up if you don't want to be late. <laughs> lying? I wasn't lying. It, t it tastes good. No, no, really. What's he babbling about? Wake up! Wake up and take that test! Boy, I would hate it if my landlady just came walking into my room to wake me up. Alright guys, so we got a little more time in this episode. Let's keep going. We got the reflection pod. And the long thrust boots. Oh yeah. Oh, I'm gonna talk to Lucy again. Good morning. Good luck with the test. Yeah, thanks. So, what do you have to lie about? N no, it's not a lying test. It's a licensed test. How many times do I have to tell you? I don't get all this robo mumbo jumbo. In order to work as a bounty hunter, you need a class D license. I'm gonna take that test. It's all crazy talk to me, but it sounds like if you don't pass the test, you don't keep your job. Question mark. Yeah, yeah, that that's right. Well, that's terrible. Hurry up and get going. Yeah, uh, where was it? What? I think it was some place called the Department of Licensing Test Hall. Oh, well, it's pretty easy to get there. Just go to the right when you leave. Cool. Are you in your office now? No. Should know better. You're right. What's my neighbors up to? Kids are still fighting. My husband and I have been known to dabble in custom robos. Only as a hobby, of course. I want my son, Will, and my daughter, Wendy, to join the police squad when they grow up. They make more money than bounty hunters. Uh, cool. Oh, oh, can I go in the room now? Can I can I actually enter that room? It's not polite to go rooting through other people's things. I guess not. Alright, let's get going. The test hall. Excuse me. The test hall. So, your name's Trish? That's a cute name. Come on, how about it? Tell me your phone number. If something were to, you know, happen to you, I could rescue you. I'd even give you a discount. A discount? That's supposed to impress me. Still, you've got a kind of naive charm. See, I'm charming. Here, write it down here. Really? I might have to try that someday. Oh! Sorry, I, I didn't know you were there, Dunkpool. I got you registered. Leave the rest to me and go take your test. All you gotta do now is stand in front of the exam machine and insert your exam card and, and custom cube into it and robo cube into it. To put it simply, press the A button when you're in front of the exam machine. Here's your exam card. Don't lose it. So where were we? Oh yeah, write your number down there. All the exam machines are filled though. <gasps> this one has a red arrow. Well, you start the test. I'm ready. I gotta do my best. Welcome. Your test begins immediately. This is the test of the Class D license. The first test is knowledge. Please select the right answer. What is the name of a person who controls a custom robo? Commander. Commander. What is it called when a person 
And his robo become one. A dive. <laughs> it's called alive. What is it called when your robo is in an easy to carry form? Robo dude. A robo two. A robo cube. What is the custom robo research center also known as? Oh. Labradory. Lavatory. <gasps> it's called a bathroom. Labro laboratory. Which license class do you need in order to join the police squad? Oh, shit. C or above, I think? C B. No. What is the name? Oh, shit, I got it wrong. What is the name of the arena where custom robos fight? Call it Holoseum. What is the name of the machine that transfers custom robo data? Parts giver. Parts burninator. What? Parts generator. Which of the following is an actual custom robo part? A pod. <laughs> a pork. The proper name of this testing facility here is called the Custom Robo Department of Fish and Game. What question number are we on? We're on the 10th question. End of questions. Knowledge test complete. Please wait your results. Thank you for waiting. Your score has been calculated. 90 points. Congratulations. You passed the knowledge test. The next test is skill. You will have to fight a custom robo under my control. But before that, I will give you some advice. You know, like at the DMV, when they give you the cheat sheet to pass your test. Never just run into an open area without a reason. You always want to be hiding behind walls, dodging shots, and looking for ways to attack. Did you get all of that? Huh? <laughs> got it. Oh, oh, got it. Then let's begin. Please take it easy on me. Ha, 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 ha. That was a joke. Everyone's using these, these big barrel head mother buddies. Uh, I want to use the, the new the reflection pods. And I want to do the long thrust boots. Um, didn't get a new gun. Did I get a new? I did not get a new bomb. No three-way. I'm still going to use the rail one. Cool. Okay, let's go. Two, one, perfect start. Oh, nope, not a perfect start. Oh, he's got the double twin point too. Oh, he hit me. You don't have a lot of, uh, down resistance. Oh, well, you almost do. I guess you're fine. Got him. Oh, he got me. Wow. Got him. I'd say that was a pretty successful test. You now have access to the feather legs. Go visit a parts generator. Congratulations. You have passed the class D license test. Cool. And I got the feather legs. The feather legs were always my favorite. They give you a pretty handy speed boost and very long uh, air jumps. Aerial jumps, I should say. Harry, how'd you do? Cool, so I'll give you a call tonight? Ah, done, pool, you're done. So, did you pass? Piece of cake. Yeah, that's great. Let's head back to the office. I'll see you later, Trish. Oh, it's me. We're not auto following anymore.
How did it go? Don't tell me. Don't tell me you failed. It's okay, I was with him. He passed, thanks to my training. Whoo! Now Dungpool is a true bounty hunter. Harry, take Dungpool home. What? Why do I gotta be this guy's babysitter? I've got some business to take care of. I wanna leave right now. If you two are gonna be partners, you ought to spend some the uh, quality time together. Chat on the way home, get to know each other, you know, pick up each other's phone numbers. You know, maybe invite him inside, give him a drink, get him hammered. Partners? Why can't Marcia be his partner? Marcia can handle herself. And you're the one who told me to hire Dungpool in the first place. Why? Why does everything bad always happen to me? You know, I I know how to get home, and I know you have a date you want to call. I can just walk home, and you can just walk home, and go do your own thing, dude. You don't have to. You don't have to take me home. Hmm, a dad, huh? And that's why you want to work? Well, everyone's got a reason. Anyway, as of today, you're a full-fledged bounty hunter. Do your best. See ya. Okay, gotta get back home and call Trish. Why do you have to get back home? You have a cell phone. Just call her on your way. <gasps> There's a piece of paper on the ground. All right, and that'll do it for this episode. We will see just exactly what is on that piece of paper in the morning. Thank you guys so much for watching, and we will see you in the next episode.